All right, let's see what we got today. Hey man, I've been watching your content and I've been loving it. It's helping out a lot. I'm wondering if you can do a video for guys who have little to no experience romantically or sexually and are anxious about it. In this society, it seems like if you're a man and haven't lost your virginity by the age of 18, everyone assumes you're either a loser, a religious nut, or an incel, regardless of the reasons why it hasn't happened. And how essentially, uh, even the most open-minded and sex positive still look down on those who have little to no experience. Okay, let's talk about it. All right, first, let's clarify a few things. Let's debunk some myths or whatever, and then maybe I can give a little bit of advice at the end. So like most of the stuff that I talk about, virginity is a social construct. It's made up. It doesn't actually matter. It comes from the Latin word Virgo, which means maiden, and that's how you get a lot of the Greek goddesses that are referred to as virgins. But it didn't used to mean someone who hadn't had sex. That was, we added that like hundreds of years later. It was basically the goddesses that weren't attached to a man and they were independent and strong on their own. The virgin goddesses were like uh, Artemis, uh, Isis, uh, Athena, etc. Like ancient Christianity is known to do, it showed up and started taking over shit. Virgins stopped meaning independent maiden and started meaning any woman who hadn't had sex with a man. Because in Christianity, sex has a lot of ties to male ownership. Like in Christianity, adultery isn't bad because it's cheating or dishonest. Adultery is bad because you're having sex with someone who belongs to another man. Remember, women were basically property. We don't value virginity because of some spiritual purity or any of that shit that's not the reason we added that later the actual reason is because back then the only way to be sure that the child that a woman had was yours is if you're the only person who slept with her now obviously people can just lie about whether or not they've had sex so the only way to be sure was to either get betrothed really really early like 12 years old which was a common practice back then or to see if they bleed the first time you guys have sex. And if she didn't, she was liable to get stoned to death. I'm telling you all this to say that that is the construct that we made up and call virginity. At this point, we use it for just anyone who hasn't had sex, but that's where it comes from. Now, how do we use it now? One of the facets of toxic masculinity is hypersexuality. Men are expected to be ready for sex all the time. They're supposed to want it all the time, seek it out all the time, and do it as often as possible. The reason why this is toxic is because if you're not like that, you're treated as less of a man. But in reality, a lot of men aren't like that. For a lot of men, sex isn't at the top of their list of important things. A lot of men just aren't in the mood as often as other men or don't seek out opportunities for sex as often as other men. But if they talk about that with their homies or they try to convey that to their partner, they fear what the reaction will be. And so instead we just put on this front like all men are just super horny all the time. I say that to say that there's nothing wrong with not being hypersexual. There's nothing wrong with being a virgin at 18. Regardless of the reason, whether it was circumstance, whether it was choice, whether it was whatever, it doesn't matter. There's nothing wrong with it. And it has been my experience that most women don't give a shit. In the last 12 years of dating, I've had maybe one person ask me about my previous partners. Most people just aren't asking that question. So I suspect that you're thinking about your virginity way more than anyone else is thinking about your virginity. The overwhelming majority of people are not thinking about the fact that you're a virgin. Most don't know. Of the people who do know, I'm certain most don't care. In the grand scheme of things, it just does not matter. It's not something you have to worry about. So that's my breakdown of virginity, but I did say I was going to give you guys a little bit of advice. So here's my advice. The secrets to being good in the bedroom are not found in porn. Porn isn't real. These are for entertainment purposes only. These are actors. These are actresses. These are entertainers, okay? They are not a reflection of real life. When you're going into the bedroom, you have to go in with the understanding that you two don't necessarily know what each other likes, which means the best way you can go in is with the willingness to ask questions and listen to the responses. Like actually listen, like pay attention, listen to what they say, their verbal responses, and listen to what they do, their physical responses. They will tell you or show you what they like. If you're not sure, just ask, do you like this? Does this feel good? Etc. Sex is verbal and physical communication with the goal of mutual pleasure. If you keep that in mind, you're in the right direction.